Are you a collector of fine fragrances? Maybe you're just some dude who likes a lot of cologne. Or perhaps a fine young woman who just loves a nice variety in her scents. I got a rant on how to control your collection from getting too crazy. J Royal fragrance videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, right on schedule. And if you don't know, Fragrant is a fragrance rant. It's me having to vent a little bit about something that I noticed in the fragrance community and fragrance collectors. Now, if you don't have a huge collection of fragrances, consider yourself normal. But who knows, if you're watching this video, it may encourage you to start smelling new fragrances for yourself, perhaps gathering a bit of a cologne collection. And that's all great. There's a lot of really fantastic fragrances out there, everyone, ladies and gentlemen, and everything else in between and outside and theoretical. But if I knew what I know now, when I first started, I might have done things a bit differently. There's several different tiers of collectors. There's people that have maybe one or two, five or six, you know, some warm, some cold weather, some formal, some casual. And then there's the 20, 30, 40 plus people that just amass a huge collection. And that's really cool because it gives you a nice variety. But there are some people that just mass purchase things and it doesn't really seem like they're putting a lot of thought into it. And of course, I am speaking from personal experience because uh, I haven't been very thoughtful all the time either. Now, when you select a fragrance, this goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. You obviously have to like the fragrance. And in order to know if you really like it, you have to wear it. Wear it a few times. Wear it quite a few times and then perhaps get a bottle. How do you do that? Duh, you get samples and wear the samples. But James, I like all the fragrances I own. I really do. You're off to a good start if you do in fact like and wear all of the fragrances that you have purchased. But in this video, I want to talk about something that can help you take your fragrance collecting one step further. When I peruse my collection, I tend to do what I call fragrance Compartmentalization. <laughs> Compartmentalizing. Now I do this and a lot of you may do this even though you probably have a better way of describing it. But when I look at my collection, I section it off into little compartments or categories. Now these categories can be as broad and wide or as fine and detailed as you want. Now some examples can be warm weather versus cold weather, day versus night fragrances, formal versus casual. And what I find is the bigger your collection, the more detailed those little categories can be. You can combine categories, formal winter, casual spring, first date, second date. But what I have done is taken it so far that I've even limited it to notes. Masculine rose fragrance, feminine rose fragrance, amber rose. Here's the thing, we're all at various levels in regards to our collection size. And I think it's important to compartmentalize your collection, no matter how big it is, because it gives you a perspective on what you have and maybe what you want. What I try and do is have little boxes for each compartment that I mentally am keeping track of. And ideally, I only want one fragrance of each of those compartments. I mean, how many amber rose fragrances do I need, right guys? So my favorite amber rose fragrance happens to be Ombre Nui. And I got that box ticked. <laughs> I don't need another one. Now, if you only have one, two, maybe three colognes or perfumes, you're okay. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. You got three huge boxes and hopefully there's no overlap. But for the collectors out there, the ones that have been doing this for a bit longer, the ones that are knee deep in this, try and only have one of every type of fragrance. From a practicality standpoint, do you really need X amount of boozy leather fragrances or can you just narrow down to your favorite? <laughs> that way, whenever you're craving that sort of vibe and feel, you just grab that fragrance. You don't have to have a bit of a royal rumble every time you decide to pick a fragrance. If you're doing this already, perfect. Just make sure these compartments don't get infinitely small <laughs> where you can justify buying anything. Be reasonable to yourself, your wallet, and perhaps your line of credit. Don't use credit. <laughs> if this video has helped anyone, I'm happy. For all my seasoned vets out there, just Take it easy, you know what I mean? And for anyone who is new to this hobby, purchase out of necessity. And fragrances are a necessity, we all know that. 
But wherever there's big voids or gaps in your collection, fill them. Don't get fragrances that overlap too much because when it comes to your wallet, the stuff inside is a finite resource, okay? <laughs> and also when you have fragrances that are similar, they just feel less special. Really the subject matter ties into the whole redundancy thing. Uh, I'm a big believer that fragrances shouldn't be redundant. They should stand out. And separating your fragrances into different types is a great way of doing that. But that's my opinion. Thanks for watching. Get your own opinion.